Hi, Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sitting in a Lada Neva, and next to me is the commercial vehicle version of the Suzuki Jimny. And next to that is a Dacia Duster. And we're going to have a budget off-roader, uphill, off-road drag race. And we're actually going to compare all of these cars in various off-road challenges. And to do that, we're going to score them for each challenge. So the winner of a challenge will get three points. The one who comes second gets two point, sorry for swearing. And the one that comes last gets one point, sorry for swearing again. And if any car doesn't complete a challenge, then it will get no points in that challenge. Now we're being helped out today by off-road expert Darren from Pro Tracks 4x4, who are helping organize this event. And if you want to use them for some off-roading or come visit this location, there is a link in the description below. So let me tell you about this Lada Neva. It has a 1.7 litre naturally aspirated engine with 85 horsepower and 130 newton metres of torque. It's not much really, is it? It's not the lightest car really either. It weighs 1.3 tonnes. However, it does have some things in its favour. It has a low range gearbox. In fact, it has a two stage low range gearbox. Sorry, I'm swearing again. So it has a high range mode, a medium range mode, and a low range mode. And you control it with the knob down here. It also has a central locking differential. So it's that knob there. So for this uphill drag race, I'm gonna be in low range mode, diff locked. I'm gonna probably pull away in second gear. But I do have a slight problem in the fact that the parking brake on this isn't very good. So whenever I just dip the clutch, which I need to do to start the engine, this happens. So this could all end in disaster. Don't think there's such a problem with the Jimny. So let me tell you about that car. It has a 1.5 litre naturally aspirated petrol engine with 101 horsepower and 130 newton meters of torque. That car has normally two wheel drive, it's rear wheel drive, but you can put it into four wheel drive lock or low range four wheel drive. So that's what he'll be using in this. That's got a five speed manual, just like this car and it's handbrake work. So we'll be able to hold it on the handbrake before going up the hill. Finally, we come to the Dacia Duster. So that car has a 1.5 litre turbo diesel with 115 horsepower and 260 newton meters of torque. It's also got a six speed manual gearbox. However, it's four wheel drive system is normally front wheel drive, although you can select for four wheel drive mode, but it doesn't have a central locking diff like these two cars do. Actually, the Jimny doesn't have a central locking diff, it just locks in permanent fall. Anyway, you don't need to know that. Now, in terms of pricing, they're, they're quite similar actually. So that Dacia, if you want a four wheel drive Dacia, 20,000 pounds. That Jimny, 20,000 pounds. Though if you're buying it through a business, you'd have to pay the VAT because it's a commercial vehicle and then it's 17,000 pounds. This Lada, 17,000 pounds. And you can get one imported from lada4x4.co.uk. The link to them is in the description below as well. Now, before we get on with this, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. Let's do this. Right, change the plan. I'm gonna hold it on the clutch. Three, two, one. Come on, Lada. Oh, crap, gear change by me. Hey, that Jimmy just flew up there, but I'm gonna beat the duster. Oh, there we go. Where is the duster? Oh, here it comes. <laughs> what happened to the duster? It was slipping all over the place. I should have been checking my inclinometer in here because I swear this slope is sheer compared to that one. This was having real trouble. Well, I'm inclined to think you're just a driver. Anyway, let's see what Darren thought. So Darren, what do you reckon? I mean, this was hard to start off the line. I was struggling, like trying to balance it on the clutch, but I got it going in the end and didn't stall it, but didn't you know, win. The scrabble start, then it dug in and started going, but the Germany, I'm afraid, was a commanding win. It just got off the line straight away, and then we had the third place vehicle, I'm afraid. <laughs> it was slow, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh dear. Anyway, so that's three points to the Jimny, two points, sorry for swearing again, to the Lada, and one point, I'm swearing again, to the Duster. We've had a bit of a development. You see, the reason that duster was so slow up that slope is because it still had the stability control on. So when the back end went sideways when it was sliding, it just cut all the power. So he's turned that off now. We're going to have another go. See what happens. I'm going to deploy the same tactics, just try and be a bit quicker with my gear change. So here we go. Oh, kind of classic. Three, two, one. We've got all the revs. I don't know, that was so close. Jimny won, but not by as big a margin as before. Very close between me and the duster. We're gonna to need to find out from Darren. Darren, come on, tell me. Did I beat the duster over the top? 
No. Oh, You were tiny bit behind, I'm afraid. Oh. All right, and so three points to the chimney, two to the duster. I shouldn't let the duster out me. Let me, and one point to the larder. The next challenge is all about manoeuvrability and the car's ability to be quick over rough terrain. Because what we're going to do is drive the little obstacle course. It goes into the woods, round a hairpin, very tight turn. So it'll actually put the car's turning circles to the test and then back to go across the line. And Darren will be timing us and the car that does it in the quickest time wins. Let's do it. First up, duster. There you go, the duster's off. It is the heaviest car, 1.4 tonnes. And it has an okay turning circle of 10.7 metres, so it should get around the top quite easily. Now, how brave is he going through those big bumps and divots? Whoa, lots of splash there. That's, that's, whoa. Has anything fallen off it? Oh, something's fallen off the front of it. Okay, I think that's just the um, towing eye cover. So, Darren, what was the time on that one? 17.9. 17.9 9 seconds, okay. Right, Jimny, so you've got to beat 17.9 seconds. Can it? So, the Jimny is the lightest car. It only weighs 1.1 tonnes. And it's got the best turning circle, 9.8 metres. Oh, he's a bit slow around there at the top, though. I don't know what he's doing. Come on, he needs to smash it through. It's got good ground clearance. It's not that expensive. Well, that is more expensive than the old passenger car version for Suzuki reasons. Anyway, what was that time? 20.50. Ah, uh, 20.50. So we've had 17.9. 17.9, 20.50. Yeah, it's all down to you. All down to me. This is doable. So this car weighs in at 1.3 tonnes. It's got the worst turning circle, though, of 11 metres, but I don't think that's going to matter. Right, here we go. Hey. The gear lever is so far away. Oh, don't want to go too quick over here. Oh, oh, blimey, come on, it's tough. Russian! Oh, it's a weird noise from the steering pump there. <laughs> well, this is the bit I've got to watch so I don't bottom out too badly. It's really quite good, this. Hey! <laughs> it's got ABS at least, thank God, otherwise I'd have been down that slope. More on that in a bit. 20.32. 20.32? 20.32. Second place. Second place. I'll take that second place. Easy win for the duster. Three points for that. I just pipped the chimney, so I get two points. And poor chimney gets one point because it's last. The next challenge is about the car controlling itself down a slippery slope. So the idea with this is the opposite to the drag race. It's all about being slow and steady. And the last one to pass the cone wins. Now, this car has hill descent control. When it starts going downhill, it'll engage and it ranges between 80 miles an hour and three miles an hour. And I can change it using the cruise control buttons. So I'll be going for three mile an hour. Being first gear, just trundling down. And this car has a low first gear. So it's specifically low on the four wheel drive version of the Duster, just for more control off roading. The Jimny also has hill descent control and its low setting is three miles an hour. And of course that's got a low range mode. The Lada has no hill descent control, just as the driver, though he's not allowed to touch his brakes. He's going to have to go down in first gear in low mode. See what happens. Do you know what though, before we do, obviously I've jumped into the Duster and compared to that Lada, it's, it's like a Rolls Royce. It's like luxury, I'm liking it. Off the brake. Come on! Oh my god, that just took ages for hill descent control to engage. Come on! No, no. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> At least I was slower than that larder, but the Jimmy absolutely smashed that one. It was the steadiest and smoothest down the slope. This thing, it started to roll before its hill descent control started to work. So, Darren. Jimmy was first. You were a very close second. Oh, very close. And the larder. <laughs> and the larder just larded it. <laughs> came last, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm not afraid, I'm happy that it came last. So that's three points for the chimney, two for the duster, and just one for the larder. Oh. For this next challenge, we're going to be driving the cars down some slippery steps. Then we're going to turn around and come back up again. This will be testing out their ground clearance, their suspension travel, their four wheel drive systems and stability control systems to keep them moving forward and not spinning up their wheels too much. Let's see what happens. Oh, and while we're doing it, Darren will be marking us. The larder is fast. The lovely larder. So the design of that car actually dates back to 1977, but it's tough is Russian. It's spinning up its wheels a little bit, but its central locking diff is helping it out. 
keeping all four wheels turning. Jimny, obviously, it's four wheels should keep turning because when you put it into four wheel drive mode, it just locks it all together. Bizarrely, even though I bottomed out, this car has the greatest ground clearance. Ugh! It's 214 millimeters. The Jimny is 210 and the Lada is 200. Up! <laughs> Did all right. Now we're gonna go back up the slope. Another thing that's interesting is that the Jimny has rigid axles at the front and the back. The Lada has a rigid axle at the back, but independent suspension at the front. And the Duster has independent suspension all the way around. It also has stability control, as does the Jimny, so it can stop it spinning its wheels. Um, the, the Lada doesn't. <laughs> so it doesn't have that to help it out. So if it starts to slip, it could get into trouble, especially if it's cross axled. So front wheel off the ground, the diagonal rear wheel off the ground, so the power just spins away through those two wheels. The Jimny will use its brakes to send power back to the, the wheel that has grip. I can see that poor Lada is struggling a bit. Go on, give it power. Go on. It made it in the end. There goes the Jimny. You can see it's spinning up its back wheel a bit. <laughs> and sticking some wheels in the air. Look at it. It's, the way it's walking up there, it's like a goat. Oh, what? oh God. And it's, oh, come on. Up. Oh, up. Oh, up. Oh. Steady does it. Keep it going. Come on, Dust. I can feel the stability. Oh. Well, that's embarrassing. Might have stalled it a little bit. <laughs> Thank God for stop start. Oh, I'm struggling here. Yeah, stop start. When I stall it, it's. Come on. This is full power. I'm going to have to back up. This is struggling now. There's no central locker on this, so it's all on the ESP. Right, come on. Looking like a complete nutter. Oh, oh stalled it again. Oh. And now I'm getting into panic, I've turned it off. <laughs> right, come on. I'm following Darren for instructions on what to do. Dead straight, come on, give it some power. Hey, get out of the way, Darren, I'll kill you. <laughs> oh, and then I bottomed out. Oh. Get out of the way, Darren. Okay, Darren, that was a bit embarrassing for me. Uh, I learned life saved too much. <laughs> it was too low. It's longer than the other two cars, which means they can position their wheels in the hole slightly better. Right. So the Jiminy came up like a breeze. I'm normally really good at positioning myself in the hole, but this time not so much. You're very good at digging holes. <laughs> right, yeah, I was <laughs> spinning away the wheels. I mean, this one struggled because it didn't have a central locking diff, did it? Uh, and it is longer. This is set for the smaller car. Even though it's got higher ground clearance, the fact that it was longer, it was just bottoming out. Yeah. Go on then, tell me the results. What's the score for this? Third, I'm afraid. Third, so one point for the duster. Two points for the larder. Ooh, two, second place for the larder, not bad. Jiminy, straight up. Three points for the Jimny. That Jimny's doing well, isn't it? Very well. This next challenge is in three parts. So the first part, we're gonna go down a side slope and it will actually show off the car's chassis articulation and the stiffness of their chassis. So we're gonna actually stop at some point and open the doors to just see if the chassis has flexed or not, because if you can't open the doors, it means it's flexed. Then we're gonna go around over a couple of hills and that'll be testing the car's approach, brake over and departure angles. Then we're gonna come back down again and up over a slope, which will once again, check out the ground clearance and the chassis articulation and their traction and then Darren will mark us. Obviously, I've now jumped into the Jimny. Very familiar place, a Jimny. Got my own Jimny. In fact, if you want to see more about my Jimny, click on the pop-out banner up there for the link in the description. To watch my video about my own Jimny that I bought. Okay, I can see the duster heading down the slope, kicking his back wheel in the air. I wonder how his chassis is. Well, it looks like the duster's door open, no problem at all. It does have a monocoque chassis, so it's pretty stiff. I wonder if the larder will be able to open and shut his door easily enough. That's got a monocoque chassis as well. The only one that hasn't is this Jimny. 
Here we go. Straight down. Let's do a door test. So this is a ladder frame chassis. So is it more of a chance that the body flex, but no, that's fine as well. Oh. Whoa, because this is a tall car, it really feels pretty extreme when you're on the inside of it. <laughs> wow, this is so much fun. <laughs> Wait, oh, oh, it's sliding around a bit. Oh, how are we doing? The steering's pretty light and slow, so it's easy to make your way down comfortably without too many sudden movements. Right, let's move on to the second section. So this next obstacle will test the car's approach angle. So the Duster's approach angle is 30 degrees. The Lada's is an incredible 38 degrees and this Jimny's is 37. We're just gonna head through this little water splash, then up over this slope, which will be testing the car's breakover angles. Make sure they don't bottom out. So the worst is the Duster. It's got a breakover angle of 21 degrees, 36 for the Lada. This Suzuki is 28 degrees and the departure angle on this gym is actually the best so 49 degrees compared to 28 for the lighter and just 33 for that duster so this is the final part of this section now we're going at this side slope and we'll all go in the air and then we'll drop down it looks like the duster's having a little bit of a a problem <laughs> a little bit of a problem it's got its front wheel in the air it's spinning its power away oh duster come on you can do it Oh, he's going to slide back into the ladder, but uh, reverse up just in case. Oh, get it to reverse! Come on! Yeah. Oh, 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 go on, power, power, mate. You'll get over there. That's it. Well done. Oh, that was struggling. Now, the dust is on all season tyres. So is the ladder, and so is this chimney. So the tyres are pretty similar amongst all three vehicles. Well, that was easy for the ladder. The Lada totally walked that. Now the Jimny, I've got to try to just keep momentum up. Uh, wait, wait. This is doing a good job. This is very easy, just steadying it on the brakes. Oh yeah, this car is so cool. I love Jimny's. Oops. <laughs> I thought he was going to tip over then. <laughs> just to prove me wrong, Jimny. Stop, stop frightening me. What's the matter with you? Oh. Well, there we go, that's the end of that challenge. That was fun, I enjoyed that. Let's see what Darren thought of it. Darren! Can't get the staff these days. Stepping in a bit of a natter over there. Hello, you all right? Yeah. What have you been doing? Oh, chatting. <laughs> so, through these three obstacles then, which car did the best overall? Overall, seeing what's just happened there, I would give it to the Larder. The Larder! Three points for the Larder. Second place? Jiminy. Two points for the Jiminy. Last? Just uh, when you started getting wheels light, it was struggling with traction. There you go, just one point for the Duster. Now we come to the final challenge and there's everything to play for. So the Jiminy can't lose, but it could lose the win and end up drawing with either the Duster or the larder, depending on how they perform in this next challenge. What the cars have got to do is drive up this steep, slippery slope, which is covered in rocks. This is all about traction, momentum, and power. We're gonna have the duster going first. Here he goes. Gotta be careful not to bottom out while accelerating there. Go on, power, 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 come on, make it up. Go on. Oh, that made it look really easy. How can the larder do? Both are on nine points. Whichever does it the best, will come second, because this Jimny's gonna win regardless, it's too far ahead now. Here we go, here goes the Lada. Has he got enough power? He's got no clever traction control system to stop wheel spinning. Go on! Go on! Go on! Oh, it struggled, but it did it! That looked epic. Now it's down to the Jimny. Come on, Jim. This is basically a lap of honor, unless I completely cock it up and make a fool of myself. Here we go. Get the momentum going, come on. Oh, yes! I <laughs> just revved the nuts off it and it hauled its ass up. Anyway, let's see what Darren thought. Darren, were you impressed with how the cars got up there? Very impressed. I didn't think they'd make it. Really? Honestly, yes. But they all did? Yes, and surprisingly well. But which one did it the best? The duster. The duster? Yeah. Really, why? Smoother power delivery, 
it just flew up. Really? Then which did it second best? Second best. The finish was a Jiminy. It had a constant smooth all the way up the hill. Uh, and I'm afraid third was a larder. It struggled at the end. But it still made it up. Still made it, yeah, it got there. Okay, so one point for the larder, which means overall it comes last with 10 points. It's two points for the Jimney, yep. which means that it has 14 points in total, beating the dust into second place, which even though you got three points on this challenge, overall 12 points, so it comes second. So first, win for the Jimney. Second place, Duster. And third, last but not least, is the larder. Which one would you like to take home? Jiminy. Yes, <laughs> me too. Although actually it's a long drive home, so I'd rather take the duster because it's better on the motorway. Uh, yeah, so you can have the chimney. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. If you didn't, bugger off. Click on those windows there, you can watch some more videos. And if you click on that box there, you can go to CarWow to see how much money you can save on a new car. Thanks for watching.